Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So I'd like to go over how to animation cancel on the wizard. You might be thinking that's a bit odd. How can you do that? They don't have like a shift mechanic or a tab mechanic, which would normally allow them to do it easily. Well, you can do so with your outwards because they are like multiple hits. For example, you can see you have three different hits on Chilling Cloud. You have your first hit, then you have your second hit, and then you have your third hit. Right? And you have the same with Magic Missile. You have the first hit, second hit, and third hit. And yeah, otherwise Ray of Frost is just basic and so is Scorching Burst. So you can switch between the two. Very simply, you can basically do two hits of Chilling Cloud and then a hit of Magic Missile. Two of Chilling, one of Magic Missile. Or you can simply do one of Chilling, one of Missile, one of Chilling, one of Missile, one of Chilling, one of Missile. This is very advantageous because Chilling Cloud gives you chill stacks and Magic Missile gives you Arcane Mastery, which makes it very easy to sustain both those stacks. And on top of that, you're actually going to deal a bit more damage than if you were to just, let's say, hold down the mouse button of Chilling Cloud and go and just do damage that way. And it's exactly the same if you were to just go and hold down Magic Missile. You do more damage when you use both. And also with Ray of Frost, it can do pretty good damage. But again, you can do more damage just by switching between Chilling and Magic Missile. Now I've gone and I've tested them by basically maintaining ar just Arcane stacks while just holding down Chilling Cloud and maintaining Chill stacks while just holding Magic Missile. I'll show you my data and what I mean. So just to note, the best method I found, and I'll back it up with data, is to simply hit like once with Chilling Cloud, once with Magic Missile. And pretty much just like that, you're, you're just spam clicking between both your mouse buttons. It's, it can be quite annoying to get the timing right, because if you spam too much, you end up doing like multiple hits of the same at will, and then you end up doing the entire flurry. Basically, you can see right here, like Chilling Cloud, it takes longer to do the later casts to gain your damage. And it's the same with Magic Missile. It takes longer to do like the casts to gain more damage. Ultimately, let's have a look at the data. We can see with just Chilling Cloud, we got like 121,000 encounter DPS. This is including the Ryan Fire Smolder and Poison Thorn, which the Ryan Fire Smolder shouldn't really change in damage, and Poison Thorn will depend on how often we hit with said at will. But you can see Poison Thorn doesn't seem to be able to keep up even with Chilling Cloud just by itself. But we go, we test then like Magic Missile just by itself, and you see like 113 encounter DPS. Accidentally hit Chilling Cloud one time there, which which procked Rhyme Fire, and you'd want to kind of have Rhyme Fire smolder up along with like Chilling Stacks, and ultimately Magic Missile will do a little bit less damage than just holding down Chilling Cloud, as you can see just by the pure damage there. But then like with Ray of Frost, you can see it kind of cheated because it's procking Shatter on this dummy when it shouldn't when you're normally attacking a control immune boss. So yeah, you can just ignore the extra damage there done by Shatter and it basically puts it a little bit behind just holding down Chilling Cloud. So then I tested like Chilling Cloud with Magic Missile with the cancelling kind of thing. And you can already see we're seeing an improvement up to 126. Now this was only using Magic Missile as little as possible. You can see only like 30 hits basically just to sustain those arcane stacks. And ultimately we then went to test on the different timings between Chilling Cloud and Magic Missile. Like you can see we've got a lot more Magic Missile hits there compared to like it was before. And our damage has gone up to like 136,000. And then we get the timing even better and our damage goes up again to 142,000, 143,000 pretty much there, which is an 18% increase from 121,000 to 143,000. Yeah, so you can definitely gain a decent chunk more damage on your at-will attacks just by switching between Chilling and Magic Missile. It's all about the timing. And ultimately you can see here like Chilling Cloud, 164 hits, Magic Missile, 160 hits. So this was just doing equal. 
basically one chilling cloud hit for every magic missile hit and you can switch between the two really quickly and end up with like again an 18 percent damage improvement on your at will now overall that's not going to make or break whether you can beat content in the majority of cases this is generally just going to be for people who are interested in min-maxing your damage on your wizard. It can be a good habit to get into just switching between chilling and magic missile. But if you just want casual play, I would say the safest bet is probably just to keep holding chilling cloud and do a magic missile every like six, eight, six to eight seconds and you're good but you will lose a bit of damage. So just wanted to make a video on that for you guys to let you know that yes, you can indeed gain a decent chunk more damage. Again, like 18% from this to this, just by switching between both chilling and magic missile. And that's how animation canceling works. You're basically canceling the rest of the animation of like chilling cloud. You're canceling, having to do this entire flurry, by switching to the other at will, which then you're also canceling its flurry by switching back again. And you're basically just switching between the two, click, 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 click. And yeah, you can get really good at that then, just the timing, and once you do, you can, yeah, definitely do a decent addition more damage. People may ask between like Poison Thorn and Cursed Burn, with especially with this method, you can see that Poison Thorn nearly like 15,000 encounter DPS. Compare that versus like Cursed Burn, you can see it was only just about 14,000 encounter DPS. So yes, on one side, you could say that Poison Thorn is slightly better for this, just with this at will stuff, but I would say Cursed Burn because it's so close, it's very little behind. I would say Curse Burn is a little bit more reliable because it's going to just deal damage over time. And basically like you attack your target and you can kind of just forget about it. So if you have to do mechanics where you can't attack the target, the target's still gonna take damage regardless if you're attacking or not. And so that can be very useful when you're in mechanic heavy content. Otherwise Poison Thorn can give you that little bit of an edge just by being able to attack that little bit more often with regards to switching between chilling and magic missile with that animation canceling and it will give you a bit more procs. So it looks something like this again. Your character does kind of spaz out a little bit depending how quickly you click, but you don't wanna to click too quickly between them. Otherwise you end up with the mess of like, yeah, doing the whole flurry of let's say magic missile or ending up doing the whole flurry of your chilling cloud. One thing to note though, is if you are trying to use like Vistani set or the new grace ring, this one right here, you will have to do the final flurry of chilling cloud every five seconds and no more often than that. And that's why you can also make good use of this switching between chilling and um, magic missile. And then every now and again, you do then the final flurry just to get that additional AOE damage hit to then proc the ring or your Vistani set. Vistani set still stacking, so you can abuse that to give everybody a decent chunk of damage. And if the rest of your party are doing that too, well, you can increase your entire party's damage by like 25% in a five man group and by 50% in a 10 man group. I want to see what it's like in Demogorgon. So again, many thanks to these channel members for helping me keep my channel going. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.